it's me again, Ma'am says. So, in this video, pag-uusapan natin yung mole fraction. Okay? Paano ba computein yung mole fraction ng solute or ng solvent? Okay? When you say mole fraction, it expresses the ratio of the number of moles of the component solute or solvent to the total number of moles or the moles of the solution. Okay? So, the formula of mole fraction we have two. Okay? So, meron siyang mole fraction of solute at saka mole fraction of solvent. So, for the mole fraction of solute, we have the mole of solute all over the mole of solution. Okay? And, for the mole of solvent naman, or the mole fraction of solvent, so we have here mole fraction of solvent. We have here mole of solvent over mole of solution. Okay? Take note, that this mole of solution, kung walang given na uh, mole of solution dun sa problem, compute mo rin siya using or by adding the mole of solute and the mole of solvent. Okay, same with sa mole or frac uh, mole fraction of sol solute. Okay, pag hindi given then yung mole solution niya, pwede mo rin kuwanin to by adding the mole of solute and mole of solvent. Okay, so let's have an example. If 8 grams of sodium hydroxide with, an, uh, with a molar mass of 40.01 grams per mole is dissolved in 90 grams H2O or water with a molar mass of 18.02 grams per mole, calculate the mole fraction of the solute and the solvent. So, let's compute first um, the mole. Kasi, we have here the given. Given niya is mass, di ba? So, kailangan, makonvert muna natin to into um, mole. Okay. So, mamaya papakita natin. So, sulat muna natin dito yung mga given. So, we have here the given. Meron tayong mass of solute. Okay, which is 8.0 grams of NaOH or sodium hydroxide. We also have the mass of solu um, solvent, okay, which is 90.90 .90 grams of H2O. Okay, so ang hahanapin daw natin dito ay yung mole fraction ng solute and solvent. Okay? So, don't forget the formula. Formula para makuha yung mole fraction ng solute. So, mole fraction, palitan natin. Ayan. So, mole fraction of solute is equal to mole of solute over mole of solution. Okay, tandaan natin na yung mole of solution nito ay mole of um, solute plus mole of solvent. Okay, so mole fraction naman ng solvent, we have mole fraction of Solvent is equal to mole of solvent of solvent all over mole of solution. So, medyo mahaba yung computation nito. Okay? So, compute natin. Ayan. So, solution. Okay. Diba sabi ko kanina, um, given natin is gram. So, 
Una dyan, convert natin yung mass of solute and solvent to the number of mole using the molar mass given. Okay? So, start tayo kay mass of solute. So, we have here mole of solute is equal to 8.00 grams of NaOH. Multiply natin sa molar mass ng NaOH which is 40. Okay, so we have here 1 mole of NaOH over 40.01 grams NaOH. Okay, so cancel. Cancel. So we have 0 0.2000 mole NaOH. Okay, and then, so ito na yung mole ng solute natin. So nakuha na natin. How about the mole of solvent? So, our solvent here is 90, uh, is water, di ba? So, ang mass ng solvent natin is 90. So, we have 90.0 grams of water. Multiply sa molar mass nito, which is 18. So, 1 mole of H2O over 18.02 grams of H2O equal. So, cancel the unit. So, we have here 4.9945 mole H2O. Okay. So, we have now the mole of solute and mole of solvent. Okay. Take note that the number of mole, okay, must always be in four decimal places. Okay. So, pwede na ba natin compute yung mole fraction niya? So, pwede na. Okay? Ayan. So, umpisaan natin yung mole fraction ng solute. Okay? Ano yung given solute natin dyan? NaOH, di ba? So, ibig sabihin yan, mole fraction of NaOH is equal to, okay, mole of, um, mole of solute. Okay, yung mole of solute na given natin, di ba? Sige, sulat natin para hindi tayo malito. So, yung na-compute natin dun sa previous slide, mole of solute is equal to 0 0.200 mole. Tama ba? Okay, tama. NaOH. Tapos, yung mole ng solvent naman natin, ay 4.9945 mole H2O. Ayan. So, computein natin yung mole fraction niya. Mole fraction ng solute. Okay? So, mole fraction of solute is equal to mole of solute over mole of solution. Since wala tayong given na direct na solution dito, Para makuha natin yung mole of solution, pag a natin yung mole of solute and mole of solvent. Okay? So, we have here mole of solute which is 0 0.2000 mole of NaOH all over, okay, solution to, di ba? Mole of solution. So, pag a lang natin itong dalawa. So, meron tayong 0 0.200 mole NaOH plus... 4.9945 mole H2O. Okay? So, ito, itong dalawang to, kaya natin pinag-add kasi kailangan natin makuha yung mole of solution niya. Okay? So, since wala tayong given na mole of solution sa problem, kukuhanin natin yung mole of solution gamit dito sa mole of solute and mole of solvent. Ipag-add lang natin silang dalawa. Okay? So, magiging 0. Um, 2000 mole NaOH divided by 0 0.2000 mole NaOH plus 4.9945 mole of water. So, we have 0 0.0385022262. Okay? So, here, your final answer will be so, your mole fraction here NaOH is equal to 0 0.04.
So, this is your mole fraction of solute. So, how about the mole fraction of the solvent? So, your solvent here is water. So, mole fraction of H2O. So, we have mole of solvent, which is 4.9945 mole H2O all over, okay, mole of solution. So, gaya dito sa taas, pag a lang natin. 0 0.200 mole of NaOH plus, G, uh, plus 4.9945 mole H2O. Okay, so is equal 0 0.961.97738. So therefore, your final answer here is, or the mole fraction of water is, okay, 0 0.96. Okay, so, yan ang solution, o ito yung steps kung paano makompute yung, um, yung mole fraction ng solute and mole fraction ng solvent. Okay, so kapag ang given sa problem ay grams or mass of solute and mass of solvent, kailangan mo siyang i-convert muna into moles. Okay, so pag nakuha mo na yung mole ng solvent at saka ng solute mo, Pwede mo na ngayon computein yung mole fraction ng solute at saka mole fraction of solvent. Okay? So, that's all. So, I hope may natutunan kayo kung paano makompute ang mole fraction ng isang solute or ng isang solvent. Okay? Thank you for listening, guys. Um, God bless us all. Bye!